I went to Montreal. So I did my hair last night. I didn't sleep at all till right now. So I'm excited to fall asleep on the trip. So I always fall asleep, but I know this one is gonna be deep. In Jesus' name, I hope so. There is saying that and nothing happens. So I really hope. I even look it too. I look tired. I look high. Like I'm doing something, but I'm sober. I'm telling you, I'm just high on not sleeping. So I will see you. Good afternoon, Africans. We are currently in Montreal because one of my husband's aunts are being is being surprised I think today is her birthday so they're doing a party for her and so we came to see them and oh my goodness I am so happy to be out and sleep somewhere else I don't know why but I am extremely <laughs> relaxed and happy and yeah so we're stepping out to go to eat. It's afternoon right now, and the bed is still messy. They're waiting for me downstairs, so I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to see if I can vlog something, you know? But I'll be there. Thanks for watching. If you have come to watch, please hit that subscribe button. Come back again and watch more videos. I'll try not to bore you, you know? So, yes, support your girl and see you. Bye. So, oh yeah, we're out here about to go eat some Greek food. Oh, I love Greek food. It's amazing. <sighs> Adi, do you have him? He's lost. He was driving with so much assurance that he knows where he's going, but... That's as far as it goes, eh? I hate this stroller. You can't stand it. Oh, Adi. What? You made him go, you throw himself oh, way sorry, back. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, Ezra. That was fun. Although, I should have taken chicken. I forgot to record the food. It was so lovely. We had Greek food and it was the bomb. Like literally, like a bomb. It explodes you in your mouth. going places you know supposed to, if you're a pimp what did, what do you like it makes you feel like what it makes you look tough yeah like you're a pimp not like a pimp but like like you're rich yeah. You just killed the bull yesterday and now you're wearing it? Yeah, you feel like a boss. <laughs> oh, he feels like a boss. You want to know what the true boss is? Come here. That one over here. Now that's it. Now that's a boss. You just put him in it and he looks like he rules the world. <laughs> and you're leaving the places right here. He's worse than mean shopping. It's ridiculous but crazy are all men like this like so, oh. Oh. sir i can turn oh okay no. oh, yeah. oh. i just didn't want to be in your way no, where do you go um hello hi where did you go Hello! But they always make him small. They're all small. 
I don't know, you just change your style. Perfect. I think this is the new Adi. You would, if I bought that for you, I would laugh and not even no, wear it. No, I actually wear it. I actually wear it. What do you mean? So, they make it very small. They don't feel you? They don't feel you. Look. They're all, they're also small. I think it's because people come and take them. No, it's the style. It's the style. Mm -hmm. I think people just like that style. Okay, try it on. This one would work. That's what I'm saying. Actually, like people come. I picture like I your, like those, your dad when you I don't really like this one actually, but I really like those ones, but that's the only size they Wait, have. Wait, why don't you try it on? Try yeah, to see. Yeah, but try. You never know. Try. Try, you never know if it fits now. Try. But can I see? So if I bought you something like this, you'd wear it. I Now you would. Not the Adi last year and years before that. Adi, I do. I've tested you before. And you're like, yeah, what are you doing? Maybe. This is a new and you talk to add my goodness. This is a breakthrough. Jesus is on the no, way. I actually love it. No. Ali, you would have had something in your closet like that. But did you try it on to see? Because sometimes it could say small and fit. You're not rolling like that. <laughs> and your gut too has to breathe. You didn't, you didn't like this clothes before, I'm not lying. Would you wear this? Aiza would love you though. You can put it on for Aiza's birthday. I'm not feeling that Aiza would love you for this. They're nice and colorful. Yeah, that's a simple boy. Go to church or for suits or something. How about this ski one? Yo, can I see though? I have to see this. I have to see how it looks like. Do those pants fit you though? He has changed so much, it's crazy. I should have brought my camera, but I forgot it. Everything that he's wearing is not something he would have worn before. It's crazy. I'm proud of him. And then we go somewhere. Yay! Are you hungry? Are you hungry? No. This guy just woke up from his nap. And now. And now he's up. Why aren't you sleeping? Hmm? Yeah, Montreal is fun though. We are having fun. It feels weird holding an iPad. Because I left my. I left my camera at home. And now people are looking at me using an iPhone. So, so that's fine. Say hi. Say hi world. So hello, we are outside because we lost Papa. We were right behind him. I had my eyes on him and then somebody passed by and he was he disappeared. So I don't know where he went. But behind us is somewhere very beautiful. So, yeah, we are waiting. I don't know where he went. He's gonna turn it around like it's my fault. But, yeah, and this guy is getting tired and hungry. He shouldn't be hungry, Daddy. Do you have a fever? I feel like his head is warm. Seriously, where did this guy go? Hi! But, but did you just see balloons floating up in the sky? <gasps> oh my gosh, I thought I was recording the whole time. So I said, we're gonna go eat something and then we're gonna go watch that guy play and they're going to win because of my presence. And 
He doesn't believe it, but it's true. Why isn't he closing properly? Damn. And so. Yeah, I'm excited to see him play. I've never seen him play. Well, actually, he had a little practice with me, and I had to play dumb so that he looks like he knows how to play better than me. <laughs> so, yeah. And we had a nice nap too. I don't know if you can tell. But my hair is not on fleek and I don't mind because I am tired of this hair. I miss my hair. So I'm Nacho and for the longest time I've had a hard time wearing my hair because I didn't know what to do with it. You know when you're not raised doing something like it's odd for you. So I have this whole summer I most of the summer I literally had my hair out and now that I put this in as a protective style which doesn't feel like protective style because I made it quite small and it doesn't look it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to turn out so a I don't like how it turned out and B I miss my hair like I've never thought I never thought that I would say something like that thankfully Javi said that he likes my hair better that's what you're saying right I do that you like my hair better, Maria hair. You don't want me to wear fake hair. What? So I should stick to that, eh? Are you sure? No weaves. I mean, the... hi, hello, hello. What you wanting for? What you wanting for? What you waiting for? So yeah, I miss my natural hair because the whole summer I had my hair out and yeah I feel like since it's winter time I think I'm just gonna do braids because it's winter like you don't wanna deal with anything it's cold but as soon as winter is done I just like to wear my hair out you know let's see how this goes by I really don't like this hair I like how it turned out I can't do anything with it and I don't like how it's like flying in my face Next time I'm just going to do braids. I'm going to stick to braids. Hi! Hi, Bobby. You are seven months. As, oh no, you're not seven months. You're eight months and two weeks today, right? Yeah, two weeks. Two weeks today. Oh, I'm going to miss you, Green. I'm sorry. I'm speaking from, to my future self because I know I'm going to miss this stage. <laughs> so cute! Papa, what's that fish? What you doing with that fish for Papa? You want to eat shawarma? No, no shawarma. What? You're feeling shawarma? Is that what you wanted to hear? Huh? Um, I heard that Lydia died. Like it was so real, Adi. I was like, no, this has to be a dream. I just spoke to her, and they're like, yeah, she just, she just died like that nothing but whatever and I just remember like being in, in shock and wondering like what I could have done or like what happened wait did you hear me yeah like she died and I remember like we had to prepare for a funeral and everything was so real and nobody was speaking to each other you know, and lots of her friends came actually, and they would come to me, and I was like, no, she's not dead. I was just speaking to her literally like two days ago. I repeat that. I was like, not tragic this year or any year in Jesus' name. We shall live to fulfill the purpose of God. And I believe that my sister is not done her purpose. So 
so no she shall live and not die and she shall live to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living as I am seeing it I remember I said that before I got pregnant I was no sorry when I was pregnant before my due date because I was so scared to give birth and I literally had to like pray to God and talk and actually believe that God will allow me to live and see my miracle baby. So I remember saying that prayer a lot and I think I got it from Psalms. Psalms something. Uh, I don't remember which verse or chapter. But it said, I shall, I will live. I will live and not die. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I shall live and not die. And then it says, like, I will live to see the goodness of the land of the living. I think that should be a prayer for everyone. You know? Sorry, I keep going like this because when I go like this, it becomes I don't know, it depends whatever angle, like it becomes too Today's Saturday, like Montreal is over already, like that's crazy. Have you ever looked forward to a trip and then it happens? Like, and then it ends. <laughs> and you're like, I was looking forward to this trip, man, and now it's over, and now it's a week later, like it's crazy. So be anxious for nothing, I guess. Like the Bible says, we're out here at the park and people are playing tennis. I <laughs> Yo guys, I am so energyless and my skin is breaking out and you know how I was <clears throat> in my other previous videos I was talking about I was trying to fast and I was doing intermittent fasting and fasting but I was having a hard time fasting and now I know why been eight months now since I got my period and yesterday was literally my first day of periods like I thought something was wrong with me I went to the doctors and it's like don't worry about it like I'm very skeptical about that doctor because he, he looks kind of sketchy like he's I don't know he doesn't seem very helpful so I was kind of worried I was gonna go to the gynecology this guy wants to be in the video I was gonna go to the gynecology to see if I could um, be seen and get checked to make sure that I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, to make sure that I'm okay. Um, this is the only way for both of us to be in the video. So, <clears throat> lo and behold, as I was going to the washroom, blood, TMI, blood. I was like, at first I was scared. I'm like using my platelets bad my period and now I'm just like wow like I can't believe the last time I had my period was like last year 
before this guy so yeah like i was happy and started the symptom because of the pain this is why i couldn't fast whenever i'm in my menstrual cycle there i'm always like for some reason like i i'm always hungry like i eat more but there are times where like i have no appetite at all so that could have contributed to my inability to fast like because i was wondering what why can't i fast like what was going on with my body like i was just not comfortable like i would fast a little bit and then i would break it because i feel the need of eating and if you know what i'm talking about with menstrual cycles some of y'all yeah, understand yeah, you eat more like and then out of nowhere like i was emotional on like thursday when my husband was taking the baby to his mom's long story and i'm like don't take my baby from me and blah 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 but um yeah i was quite emotional and so yeah now this explains everything so okay my goodness <laughs> this explains everything because hopefully when this is over i'm able to do my fasting and do it well and effective yes buddy can i please talk and then i'll show you after so yes that explains why my skin is dull that explains my energy that explains my glutamine is it glutamine <laughs> you know that overeating and so yeah but i've been drinking a lot of water thank god because i need to pump milk yeah my goodness look at my skin so naptural came out with a clinic okay. video and guys i want to try out clinic because i i want to see if you can help me you know um napcharo and patricia yeah i they both talk about this product and they say it's really good so i really want to try it out because and i want to try out the keto diet and i want to do the bone broth challenge again I love bone broth, I make it myself, but I want to order some from Dr. Axe, so... Okay, this park is literally 25 minute walk from my, from my house, like from my house to here and back. And it used to be a problem, it used to seem like so far away, but now it seems like 5 minutes, like... I don't know if my legs sped up or I just enjoy walking and I don't notice the time go by. So it is quite amazing. So join us to this our fun time to the park. This guy always slips through the ride. Like he looks, he would step a little bit, look around, and then it's like I've seen enough. Okay, bye. Hopefully you can hear me through this wind because I don't really have like a microphone to help me. I mean to for audio. So hopefully you can hear me. Exhausted our games, I guess. <laughs> you always have to talk all the time whenever I'm trying to make a video. He's actually singing. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Do you know how to do that? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. I am relieved to see that they came because I was like, it's 
something wrong with me because every person that I spoke to, they got it really within two weeks of having a baby or two months or six months was the latest. And here I was going to nine months. But he's eight months and two weeks. And so I am happy that they came. Praise the Lord. And so I'm excited. <laughs> Um, hopefully when they're done I'm able to do my fasting like I said uh, by here uh, like the pain I haven't taken any Advil at all or Tylenol like any pain killer at all I'm just uh, I'm just uh, I don't know I don't know why I didn't like the pain is not that excruciating but it can get but then, like it, it goes up in waves and then it comes down for a while and then it picks up a little bit again the pain but it's it doesn't drive me crazy to the point that I have to take medication. Yeah. Um so earlier today I was watching videos Mary Kay Baxter. Um I don't know if y'all have part of her stories of heaven and hell and you know like it is an eye opening by the way I have experienced out of body experience and in health like if I did not experience this at all I would have literally listened to John Piper I think that's his name I don't know this preacher that kind of tells people you know that tries to prove that these stories are not true I don't know if it's John Piper if I find his name I'll link it below but if I did not experience that at all, I would have been like, yeah, he could be right. But guys, hell is real and heaven is real. No joke, no lie, no playing around. No one can make up such event. Like, I don't think anybody would want to make up something like that. Actually, I wouldn't. But before, like, before my experience, I used to believe that there was a hell, but, you know, you don't really think of it to be the way it really it really is you just think of it as you know as a blush you like you kind of just blush it off and stuff like that but it is hey hi hello it's a serious topic here but it is so real guys um, really seek god don't shush me seek god while you can like my previous video that i put up please go listen to it seek God while he may be found because when it's too late it is too late so when my periods are done hopefully I'm able to fast and get closer with God so I think we're gonna head back thanks for watching if nothing else comes up Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I always forget to say that in my video. But please, if you have, if you have stumbled upon my video, I ask, please subscribe, like, that big thumb.